In this video, we're going to look at um, statistical estimators, um, specifically unbiased and efficient estimators. So here's a question. Suppose X1, X2, X3 is a random sample taken from a population with mean, mu and variant sigma squared. And the question is to find the best estimator for a mu from the following. We've got two es three estimators listed. T1, which is X1 plus X2 plus X3 over 3. Um, T2, which is X1 plus X2 plus 2x2 over 3 and finally t3 which is x1 plus 2x2 plus 3x3 all over 3. Okay so whenever we're comparing estimators um, we have to see whether they're unbiased. Um, so an estimator is not usually particularly great un unless it's unbiased. So an unbiased estimator t for mu satisfies et is equal to mu you know if we're trying to use our estimators t to to estimate mu we want the expected value of t to be equal to mu so let's try this for our for our estimators what is the expectation of t1 well that's the expectation of x1 plus x2 plus x3 all divided by three. And if you're familiar with um, linear combinations of expectations variance, you, you'll know that this is the same as one third of the expectation of x1 plus x2 plus x3, which is also equal to, you know, this x1, x2, x3 is a random sample. So each um, observation is, in, is independent this is equal to one third the expectation of x1 plus the expectation of x2 plus the expectation of x3, which is one third. Well, each of these has a mean of mu, so it's one third mu plus mu plus mu, which is one third times three mu, which is just mu. So therefore, this one is unbiased. T1 is an unbiased estimator. Let's do the same thing with T2. Um, ET2, and we can do this a bit quicker because we understand how it works. E22 is E X1 plus 2X2 over 3, which is one third E X1 plus 2E X2 which is one third mu plus two mu, which is again equal to mu. So this one's also unbiased. And finally, let's have a look at T3. Well, the expectation of T3 is E of X1 plus two X2 plus three X3 over three, which is one third the e of x1 plus 2e of x2 plus 3e of x3, which is one third. Well, e of x1 is mu, 2e of x2 is 2 mu, and 3e of x3 is 3 mu. This is one third times 6 mu, which is equal to 2 mu. So that's not the same as mu. So this one is actually uh, like that very clearly. Two mu. So this one is biased. So this isn't particularly useful. So T three is not going to be a particularly good estimator because it's biased. So let's look at the two that were unbiased, T one and T two. So here's the idea, if two estimators are biased, uh, sorry, are unbiased, the estimator with the lowest variance, with the lower variance is more efficient. So the lower the variance, the more efficient 
an estimator is. If, if an estimator is actu actually minimizes the variance, it's just trawled efficient. Um, so the one with the lower variance is more efficient and is generally preferred. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, we're only going to look at T1 and T2 because T3 was biased. Um, so we're going to look at the variance of T1. Well, remember T1 was just X1 plus X2 plus X3 divided by 3. So this is uh, the variance of X1 plus X2 plus X3 over 3. Again, using our linear combinations, this is when we have variance of a linear combination, we, we have to pull out the third squared This is one ninth uh, sigma squared plus sigma squared plus sigma squared, which is the three sigma squared over nine, which is sigma squared over three. So that's the variance of T1. Okay, we'll do the same with T2. So the variance of T2, well, remember T2 was x1 plus 2x2 over three. Okay, so this is. Um, well, this is the same as the variance of x1 over 3 plus the variance of 2 thirds x2, which is 1 third squared times the variance of x1 plus 2 thirds squared times the variance of x2, which is one ninth of sigma squared plus two thirds squared is four ninths of sigma squared, which is five ninths of sigma squared. And because five ninths of sigma squared is greater than sigma squared over three, that means that that means that this second this T two is less efficient. That means that T one is more efficient. than T2. So there we go. So an unbiased ver unbiased estimator has its expectation equal to the parameter it's estimating, and the lower the variance of our estimator, the more efficient it is.